Somewhere in the mountains of Graubünden, it is fall and the first snow is already on the ground. After a busy summer, some of the crew finally managed to find the time to have a bit of fun together on the bikes. In the last episode, we showed you how Ramon's year was. But what about the rest of the crew? Jerome, for example. No sooner was Rocket Air over than he already began organizing next year's event. Contests for the bike days in Solitorn, new dirt parks, new bike projects, and hiring pump tracks. Then, it was already summer and time for a holiday. A few of the guys decided to go away together as a group. According to the reports, they did manage to do some riding. Unfortunately, there is no video evidence to back this up. Robert was in Canada for a few weeks with Freddie and Simon. came back in the summer and spent a lot of time riding in the Alps with Ramon. Simon, in the meantime, is Mr. Pump Track, and traveled around the whole of Switzerland representing the flying metal crew with the mobile pump track. Apart from that, he was just being good old Simon. Up in the chalet, the snow was causing a problem, meaning that the planned lines were still unrideable. But just close by, there was a spot for a mini drop and a fun small jump session. At one point, it became clear the spot wasn't working. So the whole group decided to pack up and try and find something more interesting. Like a dope slope. And even though the mountain biking through the snow didn't go as planned, the crew had enough toys with them to still have a blast. For the local Bündner boy, Armin Bailey, who planned the trip, this had been a very special year. Also für mich ist das natürlich das höchste der Gefühle. Ich hocke da im Dodge, Elbogen Dossa. Hoch ist er, ich gesaue das auch. Mehr, gib mir mehr. Alongside being allowed to ride in a Dodge, his dream of doing more riding with the crew became a reality. Here he is riding with Halter in Norway. Besides the flowing trails, they also had the chance to ride the huge jumps of the Fest series stop, the Huckfest. Finally, the whole crew got back together and could test out their redneck credentials. Go, 
Joel, on the other hand, had a very different experience with the mountain bike. Alongside filming for the Flying Metal Diaries, he was working hard on his musical career. Together with Dario, Halter, and Swiss Chris, he was hired by the Tuna Seespiel to be a part of the show. Over a period of two months, they took part in 40 shows of a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet. Pulling tricks over the stage. To be part of a spectacle like this was certainly a one-off experience, especially considering how far apart the worlds of mountain biking and musical theater are. Meanwhile, they managed to find a rideable line in the Bundesland and had a super day on the bikes together anyway. The best way to toast a super day and an awesome season is with a big fire somewhere up in the mountains of Graubünden. With lots of memorable moments from the summer, the crew could now start looking forward to the winter season. <laughs> 